Sega VJ and today I will show you how to hack the Sony PlayStation Mini in two single steps and uh, very easy. You will need a program called Autoblim. I will have the link in the description. That's the four folders that Autoblim needs. So we need to download mine version, the ultimate full 0.7.1 and now we put our USB in the USB port go to this PC format it in FAT32 in the root the four folders will come back in five minutes. Now it's done. So I will click the PS1 auto blink that I have in my desktop. I will delete it. We do not need this anymore. So now all we need is the PS1 games. Now all we have to do is to go to the folder directory called games and I will put inside the four grass. One fifty eight giga. So I will come back again when it finishes. Now it's all set. So what we have to do is to put our USB is one mini so I will safely eject it perfect and I will uh, plug it in the port number two okay that's it let's go and test it in our TV in my keyboard now we are back as you can see there is an orange light flashing power on green one now let's see what happens you will see the auto blim screen and now we are waiting to flash the games Press cross and now press start. And as you can see, Crash Bandicoot 1, 2, 3, Team Racing. So I will play the Crash Bandicoot 3. Awesome, it's working. Sony Computer Entertainment America presents a Universal Interactive Studios production. Again, created and developed. As you can see, it's working. I will test the gameplay too. 
for a little bit because I'm one handed. I think it's run perfectly, it runs perfectly. Yep, that's for sure. So guys, thank you for watching one more time. Keep going, subscribe for more. Don't forget to click the notification bell to keep you updated when I upload any new video. So again, thank you for watching, keep going.